Good morning, guys. Welcome to another Juicy Vlog. We're at the airport this morning, nice and early. We need some breakfast. We have our bags ready, and we are catching a two-hour flight to. So it all checked into our flight. It went very smoothly, as it's a domestic flight. It's quite a small airport as well. It's just really simple. You literally go through security as you go through the door, which makes a lot of sense. I don't know why we don't do that. Um, and then literally go find your check-in desk. They tell you your gate number there and then when it opens, instead of having to wait for it on a sign to tell you when it's available. Um, and then we're gonna get some breakfast now and we've got about an hour to our flight. Oh no, we didn't go to zone two. Honestly, we've just sat down and it's here already. I love how quick everything is here. Um, this is the first time we've had an actual Thai dish for breakfast. We've had, been having like sweet pastries and things like, like you had that American breakfast yesterday that was like ham and sausage and things of egg. This is the first time we've actually fancied like a curry for breakfast. I think I'm actually really looking forward to it. It smells insane and it's the last time that we can probably, I don't know if they'll do it in the islands. I didn't see it in Bangkok and this is a North dish so I'm making the most of it. This is the last time we're going to be in the North. I've never had curry this early in the morning. <sighs> Let's go. Um, hot espresso. We may have had curry for breakfast, but we couldn't start the day properly without morning coffee. Oh, I'm actually sick of you saying morning coffee now. Why? Every day. It's every day, bro. The rain is still hammering down the fire. We're flying to somewhere with hopefully a bit more sun. Yes. It's a good day when the first luggage you see is yours Literally, coming off the, the little first thing. Two together as well. Can you believe that? Awesome, we're here. We have landed. The search for sunshine isn't going too well at the moment as I think it is raining, but it's still like 32 degrees. If it was sunny, I don't think we'd be taking too well with that heat. <laughs> in our accommodation in Phuket, so we flew from Chiang Rai to Phuket. Uh, how much did that cost? Flight was like about 20 pound each. 20 quid each or something plus our baggage so it was nice and cheap and it actually worked out cheaper than doing the night train back to Bangkok and then another train down to here so we're happy with that. So we went on the Grab app again thinking we'll do that again um, as it was so cheap up in the north but we went on it here and to get from uh, north of Phuket to south, we're right on the south by the pier because we're leaving tomorrow to go somewhere else. Um, it was going to be like 900, 930 bar, and it was roughly about £25, pounds, uh, which again is not that much for like an hour, hours long trip, but we thought mm, that seems like quite a lot for the distance compared to what we've been paying before. So then we uh, were just like chatting to someone at the airport and they suggested this local bus, it's called the Airport Shuttle, it cost us 100 bar each, so it went from about £25 pounds for both of us to about £5. Pounds. It was about an hour and a bit, it wasn't long at all. Um, we just waited to the last stop and then it was like a 10 minute walk from bus terminal one to where we're staying now. So we definitely recommend that because we actually saved quite a lot of money there. And because the island's more expensive, we wanna be saving money where we can. So we're very happy with that so far. You're probably wondering like where I am, this like random green box I'm in. This is our new accommodation called Pet house it's very very funny actually the whole thing um it it costs us seven pounds to be here tonight because of like what we've been reading about Phuket like we want to see the place because we're here and where we had the flight booked to but we don't really want to spend like a load of time here because we haven't got that long in the islands anyway so we're literally staying here as like a stopover we will go and explore in a bit but it's more like somewhere to sleep for the night which is what we knew when we were booking this so yeah seven pounds a night has got us this this. This is our window. We've also got some window here and I'm not sure about this whole plastic window situation but we've got air conditioning for this and a fan for some reason. Um, the guy was absolutely brilliant wasn't he that came and showed us our room. Yes. It's so funny this whole situation. So basically this her this building outside is this kind of blue colour and there was one further down the road um, and it didn't have any like sort of way to get into it and we were like oh how's this work? So we walked a bit further down and saw this building and again walked right the way in, no one was there. Literally just doors for these little apartments. I say apartment like a little studio thing. 
and then we saw a house on the end the same colour and someone was kind of like pointing towards it and then this guy comes out like topless like running like sorry sorry and we were like why are you sorry like what, what are you sorry for because we told him roughly what time we were getting here and why aren't you wearing any clothes exactly and um, sort of shook our hand and he said oh George Lucy like he remembered our names from the booking which was really nice and um, yeah basically showed us our room he then got this out <laughs> Not what you're thinking. <laughs> Laminated sheets of all the different things and we're going to the, uh, the pier tomorrow to get our next ferry to the next island and he was like, um, if you wake up and you're, fancy, you're a bit hungry and you fancy a bit of breakfast, just give me a text on WhatsApp and I'll uh, get some breakfast sorted for you for AG Parlour. Like, it's hilarious and it's all like we were deciding what ferry we wanted to get because he's going to drop us down there for again 100 bar which is really cheap in the morning and we were like at the time saying what do you want to do, what one should we go for and he went don't rush just before you sleep tonight just send me a WhatsApp and I'll pick you up in the morning. Yeah so we're happy here, we, oh there's a bottle opener on the key, that's weird isn't it? I just noticed that. And yeah for £7 a night with aircon, why wouldn't you really? Weird area though, isn't it? We'll show you in a minute. We've come out now to find some dinner. We found a place. Um, the first kind of 20 minute, 30 minute walk from our hotel was like such a local area. There was no tourists whatsoever. We were like, wow, this is really, really like genuine. There was like market, local markets where people were kind of walking around, just doing their shopping. Then we came across KFC, kind of ruined it a little bit. It, it was a bit like, I don't know, when there's no tourists, you feel a bit like exposed, I suppose. And I was like, we were yeah. getting a lot of looks. We were getting a lot of attention actually. Yeah. So we just kind of hurried on through, but. Yeah, it's fine now. Tonight really is just a stopover. Oh, and here comes our food. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, both. Both. Sharing. <laughs> so this is a cool place. Like, they were playing the Beatles a minute ago. They got a stage set up in there for some live music and Bob Marley on the wall. Still not bored of Pad Thai, by the way, or spring rolls. Did you have a bit? And we've got cashew nut chicken curry coming, uh, no, ca chicken cashew nut coming as well. Yum. Um, these are so weird, there's so many of these forks here, like, it's literally like foil. It's How so are the spring thin. rolls? No, yeah. Hot, that's wow. That's a very, very um, clear sauce. I don't know if that's chilli sauce. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Is it hot? So, you can touch, you can pay. Yeah. You can so. take photo on all your space. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So we've just finished up our dinner. We've come down the road to a place that Lucy has been dying to come to. I'm so excited. You won't even believe where we are. <laughs> We're in a cat cafe. <laughs> we've had to order a drink and a cake, which is arriving just now. And there are cats literally everywhere. Our friends Chris and Eve would love this. Turbo no, and Jet would. Turbo and Jet would love they this. They would. They'd, fit, <laughs> they'd be right at home there. They'd fit in well. So now we can just chill with some cats, have a cake. So to be able to get your entry, you can either pay to just come in or you order two drinks and a cake and you get to come in for two people for free. The cake's got a cat on it, like this, and the bowl's in the shape of a cat. I'm going to tuck into this cake if you don't mind. Go for it. I'm going to pet the cat. They're very calm, aren't they? Look at this guy up here. Chilled. I've got a strawberry shake in a cat mug. I'm in heaven. <laughs> not bad either we, we polished that off this place is called is it bee cat cafe it's in the old town and like we said if you buy a drink two drinks and a pudding you get an entry or you can just come and pay for entry so. i feel like most people's experience of phuket is quite different i mean it's known for like strip clubs and casinos and stuff and cheap alcohol and being on the beach and partying and we're here like in a cat cafe having <laughs> cake and coffee <laughs> this place is so funny there's like cat cushions everywhere and like <laughs> things all over the wall with cats on and then over there there's like cat merch that you can buy. Oh yeah, there's like, they've got like a whole stand here. You can buy loads of their merch. Aww. Just praying we don't get fleas. 
Yeah, good point. They're so into cleaning themselves, aren't they? Yeah. They love it. And look at these. This is literally like my mum's sofa from my cat Chelsea. Oh. Where it actually pulls at it. This is my absolute favourite one. Look at its face. Constantly irritated with the world. Leave me alone, kind sir. George, mm, yes. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Very good, very good. He just needs a monocle, a cigar and some slippers and he's, he's golden. So back now after our dreamy evening with the cats. Very cute, enjoyed that a lot. Picked up some snacks from 7-Eleven on the way home as we're not sure as so we're getting the very first thing, we're not sure what the plan will be like in terms of breakfast and stuff. And also like snacks on the go. And we might have some bits tonight because it's only, it's nine o'clock. So we'll probably go to bed in a couple of hours, but we've got some work to do. So if we're still hungry after our dinner and cake, which George probably will be, then we've got some snacks for tonight as well. A few bits we've had before and a few bits we haven't. George loves these, so he's got that tomorrow morning. And we've also got two banana cakes and we haven't had them yet. Um, but I think George again will really like that because he loves banana flavoured stuff. Uh, we've got a couple of packets of crisps. This one is called, uh, they're Lay's fried chicken with hot and sour sauce. And then this one is, I think it's like a barbecue flavour because I think I've had them before, but it doesn't say it in English. And they're the Lay's baked. Uh, toothpaste, pretty standard. A tub of Pringles, this is so unhealthy, but like, we won't eat this all tomorrow. This will last us like a good week, just having in the room as a snack sort of thing. Um, these we love. We've had the blue packet, which is vanilla, uh, which is like milk flavour, they call it, but it's just like plain in the middle um, and plain biscuits. We've had, what else? We had chocolate, which is like plain biscuit outside and chocolate middle. This one's double chocolate, so it's d chocolate outside and chocolate middle. And then this one's vanilla, so like Oreos, chocolate outside and vanilla middle. Um, which was super nice. Thanks so much for watching today. We hope you enjoy coming along with us. Um, we've got some very exciting things happening in the next few weeks, um, which will be really good. Oh my God, it's so close to when we're staying at that place. <laughs> so excited, guys. Honestly. If you thought, okay, we're not gonna reveal it yet, but if you, if you thought that any of the places that we've stayed so far have been good, you wait until you see, sorry, I'm just washing my right. face. You wait until you see this new place. It's kind of going all over me. Sorry. It's so nice, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, a few of you have been asking about our gear we use. So we've linked it all below in the description of this video so you can check out what we use if you wanna buy any of the stuff, start your own channel, whatever. Um, or you're just interested in what we use and it's all below. Subscribe if you are new please because that'd be great and then you can get notified every single day when we upload these videos and we hope you are enjoying them so far. We're loving all your comments as always so keep commenting what you think of the videos. We absolutely love reading them all and we'll see you tomorrow.